Da 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 da. Here we go, everybody, everybody, everybody. Hey, everybody, how you doing? Jeffrey Powers here from Geekazine, and we have a nice treat for you here. Let me turn this off. There we go. Um, we have a nice treat for you, and I'm just watching it alive as we go because, hey, this is how it works. You know, we we end up taking off the ends here and go from there because if i see any problems then i can fix it like right now i noticed that the white balance on my uh on my camera is not right so i'm going to do this and i'm gonna do this and i'm gonna go down here we'll just go auto no no that's too blue. Let's go auto. I don't know what happened there, but anyway, I fixed it really quick. I could probably just uh, do a white balance easy, even easier, but we'll just do it like this because we're not, and I'm not going to be changing screens too much, except to go over to here, which is my, uh, which is my GoPro. And that looks a little bit darker and I apologize for that, but uh, let's see if maybe I can uh, make the adjustment really quick. Uh, let's see, video, resolution, frames, field of view, low light, spot meter, protune, white balance auto, GoPro color, shutter auto, ISO limit, sharpness high. There we go, let's go. Nope, we're going the wrong way. Let's do 1.0. That should make it a little bit brighter. There we go. So, and of course I'll be able to switch between these and come back here. And I've got, and like I said, these are the tails. The tails always get uh, knocked off. So if you're watching this live, you're watching this with the tails in it. Um, and everything's looking good. Uh, da, 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 da. yeah, it's looking, uh, blah, 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 it's telling me the wrong thing. But we're going to take a look at this little puppy right here. It's the Black Magic Web Presenter, which is this puppy right here, which I'm talking to you from, and it's pretty sweet. So we're going to do that in a couple minutes here. We're going to hopefully get a couple people here. Uh, right now we got about five people watching, so go ahead and go into the live chat if you don't know where that is go over here and uh this is the live chat right here i'll even say hello boom there we are and of course uh, remember to subscribe to the channel remember to like the channel remember to get the notifications we got six people watching now and one person already liked it so like it like it like it like it like it like a i'm, I'm doing this for the camera but you're not seeing it like it like it like it like it like it so um once again we're, we're this is the tails the gets gets cut off during the video the video uh hopefully will keep it short and sweet to show you this little product right here the web presenter uh from black magic studio it's a little bit warm i wonder how warm that is let's do that i had 104 before yeah it's at about 104 so it gets a little bit warm but you know it's switching between two sources and that's the sweetest part so anyway with that said how many minutes have we been on already about five, oh, five minutes already wow okay so ladies and gentlemen uh now that we got that i gotta turn that off to get less sound through here it's muted 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 smile and here we go so i'm going to hit here and i'm going to turn it off and i'm gonna go in three, two, one. What up, my geeks? Jeffrey Powers here with Geekazine, and we've got a exclusive. I am going to be doing this. I am going to be taking a first look at this hardware switcher, the Black Magic Web Presenter, which is an awesome, awesome little box. I just got it a few hours ago. I played with it so much, I was just like, oh, wow, this is awesome. And the best part is it lets you become a, a web presenter as well. It lets you do your streams. It lets you do your recordings without a lot of heavy, hard equipment. Now, when I go out to do to do video, I, I have an, a big box. And inside this big box, I have these devices, switchers, the ATEM switcher, um, the uh, ways to hook it up into the computer. 
and of course the audio and it takes a lot you know my, my pelican i got a big honking pelican case that has all this stuff well this might just reduce the size of my travel gear to uh, small and lightweight and i'm all i'm all for that and that's what this little puppy is like i said did i show you this is the web presenter i didn't show it to you i think i showed it to the uh to the group here that uh, comes to the live show you watch the live show and of course the first five minutes we kind of cut the tails off uh so if you're watching this a uh, couple days later it is not you don't see what you see there but of course if you do sh uh, show up you can come over and chat in the chat room uh, nobody's chatted right now but we got a few people watching so thank you very much for watching and so let's get into the content because that's what you are here for and uh and, and we'll go from there so anyway let's get here so this is the web presenter let's switch here and we'll switch here this is the black magic web presenter it is a box that allows you to connect up to two cameras to your computer using usb 2.0 you're thinking well didn't you did you say 2.0 i said yes 2.0 not 3.0 and that's cool because if you have an older laptop that does have 2.0 you'll be able to use this if you have an older desktop that has 2.0 you'll be able to use this and it does a great job on it and i'm going to show you this uh very very in, in a couple seconds here so but let's say let's go back here <clears throat> you have it's designed for sdi and hdmi if you're not sure what sdi is it's like the bnc cables here i'll show you this is a converter box i have to run through for one of the hdmi cables so it looks like a coaxial cable like in the back of your tv or something like that except it has a uh has a different type of clasping uh, hookup here. <clears throat> Excuse me. But the idea is that you can hook up up to two cameras, and some of these cameras will have the SDI option. You just basically run the cable from the camera to the box, or you get a converter like I did. Uh, it, and, and of course, Blackmagic makes converters. I have a few converters uh, from a couple projects that I've done. So. Here we go we, we got it and now here it is let's take let's take the first look first of all let's let's show you the camera uh this is gonna be my gopro my gopro is actually right here you can't see it but this is the view from my gopro camera using the web presenter and now i have my gopro set up at 1080p at uh, 60 frames per second otherwise known as 5994 um but it is going through the usb now the usb it it sends out the signal to my computer at uh 720p 30 frames a second and that's that's important to know because if you really if you're looking for something for 4k with 4k this is not it but if you're looking to do a quick facebook live and make it look presentable do a couple cameras this is this is the box that you really want to want to look at so um and of course it also works with some of these other pro products like for instance i'm going to be showing you um this product right here this is the atem television studio it's actually sitting underneath the web presenter which i also got and then of course uh you can also use the terra next mini which looks a lot like the web presenter but it does have some uh it, it has different differences to it so and you can get them in many different forms and i think with that with the Terranex mini that's where you can have higher end resolutions other than 720p but if you want to go through a usb cable to the computer that's what this uh that's what this device will do so all right so now you saw one one thing here i'm going to take i basically i've got my ipad i'm going to hook it up here and i'm going to turn it on maybe where is it there's the source. There we go. I'm going to turn it on and I'm going to show you, let's see what, what happened. Well, I'll just, I'll just go like this. Uh, you'll, you'll get to see me and Jennifer on the lake, uh, doing some canoeing. Now keep in mind, this is a, uh, this is a seven going to be a 720 P resolution for the iPad. And here we go. Just like that now i've got my ipad open and as you can see i can flip through my apps i can open up something let's open up docusign because that was the first one in the corner as this is basically an app that allows you to create documents that people can sign on the go um and it, it's really sweet but uh the whole idea is i'm sh i'm showing you this app right here and i can switch back just like this through the button there's a button switch 
right on the uh, Blackmagic web design to let me go from here back to here. Now, of course, I have the ability to do this right here, so I can go like this, and now it becomes a more presentable thing. Now, I have a program that actually pushes uh, another computer's uh, video source to the to this computer, but by hardwiring it with an HDMI cable, uh, when you have motion like this one's doing right now, you'll see you'll actually see the motion instead of a choppy version of the motion, which is a really good advantage to doing this. And of course, if you want to do two cameras like this, here we are. Small downfall. Well, first of all, this the web presenter has, like I said, in the back. Uh, well, let's let's do this. Let's close this down. Let's. Let's show you this really cool feature. We'll go back to one. I'm on my iPad. I'm unplugging my iPad. Now in most ATEMs or uh, hardware switchers, that can take this whole system down where you have to, <coughs> excuse me, you have to reboot, <coughs> excuse me, where you have to reboot uh, the one device. But in this case, all I have to do is plug it back in. I'm plugging into my iPhone this time. And now I'm bringing it down, and as you can see, it called up my iPhone. And there we are, I'm on my iPhone. And here we are with the web presenter, and this is why I wanted to do it this way, so you, I can show you this whole thing. So here we go. I'm gonna, as, uh, with the web presenter, we have uh, the switcher buttons, one and two, they're lit up, so I go one to two. If I do two, you, you'll see, you won't see this, but go back to one. We have the menu which will which you can see uh, through here. So with the menu, I can switch between the video input. It's doing it automatically. So when I'm on the HDMI, it'll go to HDMI. When I'm on the SDI, it'll go to SDI. And of course I can set it to auto. But when you go back in here after you switch it, it'll just show you that you're on the other one, the, the check mark moves. So um, we got the transition. This is really cool. I have it set to a slight mix but we can set it to a straight up cut. I'll hit set there and I'll go back to menu. Now my transitions will be cut. And there's a little bit of, uh, I found a little bit of wonkiness to that where it doesn't really uh, work right away. And then all of a sudden it starts working. So you might want to give it a few tries, maybe uh, go back and forth a few times. Then you have the audio mixer. We have, where you can mix the SDI, you can mix the HDMI. There is audio in the back. Let me uh, kind of turn this. Right in the back here, you have an audio port. You have both uh, uh, XLR and stereo in, which you can use to, uh, to bring in audio. Of course, you can also do audio through the HDMI because it's got that ability and through SDI if your cameras will allow that to happen. So. Now, we, so with this audio mixer, I have it all turned off because I use external audio. And, but I could actually push it through this mixer to go into the computer. Now, the advantage of that um, is just the fact of latency. And I'm going to show you this really quick because... Oops. Oh, i got to get out of the menu here. All right. I'm going to show you this really quick because this is important. Watch this. One, two, three, four, five. You're going to see on this this one right here, you're going to see a little bit of latency. One, two, three, four, five. But you're not going to see much of latency. Now, if I was to actually hook my audio into the Blackmagic, it would sync the audio with this device and not with the main camera. So the main camera will might be a little bit off. But if you're really not concerned about that latency, that very little bit of latency, then this is great. But once again, if you are concerned, then you're not going for something that's going to produce 720p um, and uh, you, you're going to get something better, something more powerful. So, all right, let's switch back here because uh, I'm going to show you this. This is the interface. Now, this, this right here is an extra a, a feature. This is a, a faceplate. You can remove the faceplate and put on this faceplate. This is an extra $85 for this faceplate. Well worth it. I mean, this is the unit itself is four hundred ninety-five dollars with the faceplate, about five hundred sixty dollars. And I know Amazon's ru always running deals, 
and you go to uh, it's like uh, well I have it geekazine.com forward slash web producer but if you go to Amazon uh, you go to the Amazon link uh, you'll be able to get there and of course that's my affiliate link uh, and uh, just so you know so anyway this is the interface it shows you uh, it shows you the source SDI it says we're at 720p because I'm going through the iPhone uh, thir USB out 30 frames a second and then of course the video source and I can see it right there and once I switch it once again you won't be able to see it but it'll say HDMI it'll say uh, it, it'll say 1080p at uh, at 60 frames a second and then of course USB going out 30 frames a second and uh, that's pretty much it we do have a USB in front here I haven't gotten confirmation but I'm pretty sure that is for any type of updates or maybe a joystick or something like that when I take this faceplate off there is a set of dip switches if you didn't have this faceplate, you would use those dip switches to tell it whether it'd be automatic switch between uh, HDMI or SDI, or the SDI camera or the HDMI camera. So, uh, but with the faceplate, with this interface, I'll be able to do it. And I'm guessing there's gonna be other faceplates out there because you have things like the Terranux Mini, which you can connect to. So th there might be a plate that you will connect them through this little cable. I don't know, I'm, I'm just, making assumptions, uh, prognosticating what's going on in the future and whatnot. But with this device right here, uh, you can you basically daisy chain it to a bunch of different devices like the television studio, which is down here. I haven't had a chance to play with the television studio just yet, um, but I'm really excited to see because you can actually do your switching from here. Whereas the ATEMs, all they were were, uh, you can see that, sorry about that. <laughs> Let's just take that part out. That's the magic of editing. With the TV studio, uh, you can actually switch right from the device rather than uh, going through third-party software. So, But anyway, let's switch back to the iPad um, so you don't see any more of my emails coming up. And it's so sweet because, like I said, I, I can just do this switch and I can go from there. It, it, the, the dip switch is in the back. Uh, or in the front, excuse me, tell you, tell them what resolutions it has to look for. So as long as your device is within one of those resolutions, it will, it'll, it'll look for it and discover it and send it. If it's not within those resolutions, and I don't know what the resolutions are just yet, I'm assuming it's, uh, excuse me, 1080p, 1080i, 720p, uh, VGA uh, type uh, and a couple other standards maybe even 4k but once again like I said I really haven't looked at oh, how where the dip switches work on that but the whole idea is it scans through that and it scans through that on both levels so it, it it treats camera one and camera two as two separate entities so it'll scan both of them to make sure that the resolutions are matching otherwise you would have had to get a converter box so they all matched at the exact same resolution and go from there and then we can go on for that but the whole idea is that you can set up two cameras you can have this switching back and forth between camera one and camera two and camera one and camera two just like that with fades without fades and without any other hardware and that's pretty sweet that is very sweet so i'm i'm really excited about that uh looks like elicio is excited he's working right now is watching live thank you very much elicio um, I hope you're enjoying the video, and of course, if you have any questions, let me know. Uh, got a couple other people watching right now. Thank you very much for watching. Feel free to comment in the area there. Um, so that's basically it. That is the first look of the web presenter. I haven't done anything else. I haven't really dove deep into this thing to try different types of resolutions, different types of cameras, but in its basic need, if you're looking for a one-on-one -on -one interview, you can set up two cameras, and you can have a conversation and be able to record it, be able to live stream it, be able to Facebook live it, be able to YouTube uh, live it. I'm running through Wirecast, which is a program that I use to, uh, to create all this stuff. And with Wirecast, actually the best part is, like I said, it pushes out 720p. But in Wirecast, there's a thing called upscaling, which allows you to push things to the next 
level of resolution and it will let you upscale it to 1080p which is why you, what you're seeing right now uh, so with all that you have a great source here and then of course you can always hook it up to like the TV TV producer and then all of a sudden you have a production switching studio which you can use for live or for recorded stuff and that's what I use and that's that's why I'm taking this with me next week we're going to be in California doing some live streaming and I'm going to use this for the live stream tentatively and I'll have the other stuff for backup just in case but um, and we'll see how this works in a production studio. And I think it's going to work great because it's already been tested. And, uh, and a lot of people are really excited, especially when that firmware update came out and they were able to do the cross mix fades and they were able to, uh, to get interface information. Uh, it, it, it was a game changer for them. So, and like I haven't tested the audio yet. I just tested the video because this is how I use it any type of hardware switcher i always keep my audio separate from my video that way if one of them fails the other one sticks around so anyway if you have any questions feel free to contact me at, at geekazine think magazine put in a geek of course you can always tip me tip me at paypal.me forward slash jeff powers you can also be a part of the patreon group at patreon.com forward slash geekazine and of course, check out everything over at uh, YouTube at, what was that? Let's, let's do that again. So that's over all the socials, Twitter, Geekazine, Facebook, Geekazine, Instagram, Geekazine, YouTube.com forward slash Geekazine. That's simple as that. So, and that's it. That's the web producer and a first look at uh, the black magic web presenter, not producer web presenter excuse me i'm just way too excited on this i can't wait to try this on some other stuff i still have to try it on my mac i still have to try it on a couple laptops to see what the minimums maximums are for doing this and i'm really excited so you'll see some more video from me over on facebook live uh through geekazine uh may maybe instagram maybe a periscope or two i don't know we'll see what happens so you guys geek out we'll see you next time and uh, if you have any questions, let me know. Twitter me at Geekazine. Take care.